So that's the first step. So uh, let's wet the leather and let's start shaping the actual holster part of the Peaky Blinder gun holster. Let's go! What's up, mother lovers? Welcome back to the Mojo Dojo Casa Boat. Today is, uh, yeah, a good day, a fantastic day. I have a project that I'm gonna be working on. Uh, so you probably see, you probably saw a while back, I, I bought this here gun, and it can't just, you know, be living in my house or boat without uh, any proper, um, you know safety thing surrounding it. So I'm gonna make a holster for the gun. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. What kind of a holster I'm gonna do? Yeah, I have been doing a little bit of research. I have some reference materials. I'm gonna show you from my computer. Let me start that up while I'm... Uh... And then of course, it's, it's the most natural thing to do. Uh, it's a gun holster that fits the clothing. So I'm gonna be doing a, a Peaky Blinder type gun holster. If you haven't seen the series, you know, most of the dudes in the Peaky Blinders, they carry a gun. God damn it! Oh, maybe I'll, I'll stand it on, on some other stupid thing instead. Maybe I'll put it here on my gunpowder flask. Poor camera, this has been taking it such a fucking beating. But it's a champ, it just keeps on filming and I li like that. Yeah, so I, uh, you know, you always need a little bit of inspiration. And I tried to look at the, the actual series. I have season one and season two here on the computer. And um, I couldn't really find a good picture of... Uh, how the design of the gun holster looks. So I, you know, you just go into Google, good old Google and you type, let's see here, each -E blinder gun holster, bam. Ah. Here's a good picture. Uh, this is though a gun holster for a 1911, uh, but you see the whole principle they got here. You have the whole holster part here. And here's the part that goes underneath the arm. And it seems to be like two pieces, one top piece here and one bottom piece there. And they seem to be tied together in the back strap here with something. Here's one for the Webley. More or less same design. Yeah, that's uh, something, something similar, but this seems like it's kind of sloppy leather. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can see there is uh, how the straps go behind the back. There is some uh, good reference pictures on the internet. You see here is uh, another one. There is more. And yeah, this is what I'm going to be basing my uh, my gun holster off. I already got a pretty good idea what I'm going to do. I don't like to uh, I don't like to like make drawings or schematics or molds or anything like that. I just jump right into it and get and start in uh, full speed. That's how I operate. So, you have seen some of the reference material. I uh, so now let's get started. I'm going to be using uh, same kind of exact same kind of leather I used for making my uh, lamellar medieval uh, my Viking lamellar leather armor. Yeah, it's this is the exact same leather. It's what's left from that project. So because the first thing we're going to be doing is the actual holster part, uh, the place where this gun is going to live. To do that, I'm going to wet down the leather. I'm of course going to stuff the gun in a uh, plastic bag. And then I'm w I'll wet down this piece of leather here. And then I'll wrap it around. And I'll start, um, yeah, shaping a holster out of this. A little bit of wetness. I'll uh, clamp it down with my clamps. Then I'll uh, use a tool or something to uh, give it the shape of a gun. So that's the first step. So uh, let's wet the leather and let's start shaping the actual holster part of the Peaky Blinder gun holster. Let's go!
This is the gun holster. You see it's starting to take shape. Starting to look like an actual, uh, yeah, like the gun underneath. I'm gonna leave it open down here in case I get a longer one. To make a cutout here so it would fit nice and snug to the, the gun. I got it wrapped in plastic underneath here. I think actually what I'll do now is punch the holes here all around the edge and uh, yeah then I'll go and uh, sew it up. That's uh, that's pretty good and then trim the edges and uh, cut it out a little bit like that. So we know what we have to work with for the uh, the sling that's gonna go underneath the arm later on. But so far it looks actually goddamn good. It looks really good. I'll do a little bit more detailing when I got it all cut out and shape it up better so let's do that. That's all the holes punched out. I put a little on the end there. Then we're gonna cut this up here to be able to grab the gun out of the holster. But first we're gonna sew it up. So we're gonna put the gun back in. Well, look on the inside by the way. It uh, looks pretty nice. It seems like it really got the shape of the gun. Which is good. Even the barrel. And then I have, let's see, where did it go? I have this here. Waxed linen thread. So it's gonna be perfect and I'm gonna do like a uh, shoe stitching here. Maybe I'll find a picture and insert it uh, after here so you, you understand what I mean with the stitching that I'm gonna use. But yeah, let's get to uh, sewing it together. Definitely not wearing the right clothes for this, but who gives a fuck? It's going great. Let's see here. Let's see what we got so far. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a pretty custom gun holster, if you ask me. We got some nice. Well, it's not. It's not expert made, but hey, it looks really good actually for being me, for being me, me who made it. I mean, it was wasn't that hard. Now I just, you know, I use this pen to get the contours out. 
and then I have uh, dried it off or moisten it with a moist towel so now the wet leather is a little bit moist and hopefully it's you know we're gonna shrink it up and tighten up a little bit so it looks actually really good it's a snug fit in there so I don't think it's gonna fall out I don't know why you would ever have it upside down but yeah if you would ever be upside down with it it just seems like it should be fine it looks good I'm gonna leave the gun in here while uh, the leather dries up a little bit and uh, let's get to making the uh, shoulder strap and the whole uh, back piece thing but yeah so far so good looks really nice pregnant with the child and then he didn't want anything to do with her so she thought oh if my daughter gets sick maybe he'll come back while absolutely tragic and evil this is often considered the case of munchausen by proxy Kita. similar to the example i gave i am trying to work here so it's now the next day i'm watching uh, the peaky blunders of course for some inspiration I'm gonna put another spot, another one of these on the other side so I can mount it on the thing I'm gonna do here. But that's what we're gonna do next. Find, found a suitable piece of leather here. Let's see. Here you go. I just gonna cut out this strip and uh, work with that. It's gonna be more than long enough. And the width of this, I actually haven't measured it. I just like took the width of the width of this instrument that I'm using and just transfer that onto the leather. Now I'm gonna cut that one out, then I'll find a suitable piece of uh, maybe this brown leather here. Then I'll uh, glue that to the back and then I'll sew it with the machine so it looks a little bit more uh, professional. So uh, let's do that. I uh, glued uh, this piece of white leather to the back. Then I cut out the shape I wanted for for the shoulder strap. It's a bit dirty on the back side here, but yeah, this is in the center. And then over here, it's gonna be the front part that comes over the shoulder. Uh, it's offset to one side. And this is, uh, yeah. So I can, uh, I'm gonna punch holes in this so that I can adjust uh, the length of that one here. So what I'm gonna do now, this I'm gonna take this end here, attach it 
like so here. Probably just gonna sew it to uh, the leather there. And we got the back end uh, sorted out. And then I'll take this here and I'll figure out some system to attach it to the other side here. And once we've done that, we'll try it out and then we'll do the back strap that goes around uh, your back and around the other arm to use, keep it secure there. So let's get to mounting this together. It's going all right now, mate. It's going great. I have another hat on at the moment, but that doesn't matter. You have to check this out. Here we go. As you can see, I've just slung the gun uh, over my shoulder at the moment. Here is it. Here it is, hanging under the arm. And yeah, we got we made good progress. All we need to do now is a strap that goes. Let's see if I can. Yeah, from my back over here around my back over to oh, then around over the shoulder here and back to tension up the gun so let so it gets more ah, ah, up there and then you can tighten this one over here up this so that's going to be the next thing we're going to be doing now we're going to be cutting out some leather strips and attaching uh, one upper and one lower then uh, cross them over the center of my back and I'm gonna make a leather plate for that and then I'm gonna make uh, I think I have another buckle somewhere and I'll put it somewhere here so I can tighten it on this side as well yeah it's starting to look pretty nice yeah you see it's a little bit so you can, it can articulate and that side you got the buckle here for adjusting the length let's put it down it's actually a uh, starting to look pretty good and uh, as I've been finishing the different leather pieces here, I have been uh, doing the edges with just some uh, extreme, does it say extreme polish? Classic leather shoe polish. Anyway, that, that's what I've been using to uh, do the edge detailing. 
it just makes it look that little bit better. And of course, yeah, white leather on the inside, brown, the stitching. It looks really good. It looks really, really like uh, almost professional. I've never done this before, so it's, uh, it's a new experience for me. But yeah, it's going really, really good. So let's do the, uh, the strap that's going to go around the other shoulder.
well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I have completed the Peaky Blinder gun holster to my uh, great uh, satisfaction, I must say. It turned out to be really, really nice. It was, you know, a bit of an improvised project. I don't, uh, as you can see in the process of making it, I don't really measure stuff uh, and stuff. I just do it. I see like this length, if it's not, and I cut it out and then I work with that. So I really do like to improvise. So if you want to have measurements and stuff like that, um, I, I could measure it and uh, put it out there, but I didn't do it uh, during the process of making the holster. I just, you know, improvised all the way along. So here we go. I'm now wearing a jacket. I also have the holster on me right now. And as you can see, it looks pretty concealed. If you ask me, maybe if you take a close look here in the back, you might see the leather strap through the coat. Maybe, I don't know, you will have to tell me. But uh, so far, so good. You can wear it like this, no problem. Hands in the pocket, still nothing to be seen. And yeah, it's really concealed and it's really nice in here. Then what you do when you need a gun, you just stick the hand in here, grab the holster in the bottom and pull it out. There you go. Good concealed gun holster. That's the way it looks. Then it goes back in the holster again, bam! And it lives safely here underneath your arm. Check it. Like this. Very nice, very nice. I think it turned out really, really good. And it and it's really, really comfortable to wear, I have to say. I, I've been wearing it here at home for a couple of days now, since I completed it, to, you know, stretch the leather out and give it the right shape. And it feels really good. Uh, after a while, you don't even notice that you got it there anymore. So I can really recommend to make you one of, one of these Peaky Blinder gun holsters for yourself if uh, that's something that you need. I'm standing here in the middle of the light from the projector. Let's take the coat off so you can see it, how it looks. I'm super happy with the results, I have to say. So technically, to make one of these, it's not super hard. Um, pretty much anybody could do it if you have a little bit of patience. That's the, always the most important thing when you do uh, leatherworking patience and you know the willingness to figure out what the fuck you gotta do to get it to fit properly and look good. But I'm very happy with it. As you can see, it's, it sits real good. It, got, it goes uh, in a cross in the back, straight over the center of the, uh, the suspenders that I'm wearing, so that's fucking excellent. You have a buckle here for adjustment on this side. And you have another buckle, buckle here on this side for adjusting on the other one. So you have this little leather thingy I made just to be able to keep the strap close to the body so it doesn't flop around when you're wearing it. Yeah, and it turned out really nice, I have to say. I couldn't have made it better myself. Well, yeah, let me take it off so you can see it hanging by itself. Nice. Here you go, there is the strap to keep uh, that one close to the body. You have a buckle here. This side, the buckle over here, you have this little metal thingy here to make it swivel a little bit. I have my own special uh, seams to attach the leather to the leather. Well, it looks okay, I mean, whatever works. You have the uh, crossing in the back, I just did a circle and cut out some holes in it to you know keep it centered and it looks, looks much better like this. Then of course first time I fitted it I didn't have this I cut out a wedge here and then I had to sew it together because first time I tried it out it was giving me like a crease back here in the leather like this and I could see it through the coat which uh, totally counteracts the purpose of having a concealed gun holster so I had to cut out the wedge then I sewed it back together and I got a much much tighter fit to the body so uh, you're just gonna have to work and do adjustments like that, especially if you're making something custom for yourself. Everybody has a different body shape, and uh, that's why it all requires different modifications. But yeah, now it sits really, really nice. I'm really happy that I did, you know, the seams around the edges, and that I clad it with white leather on the inside. It's not white now, it's kind of dirty, but hey, who gives a shit, it still looks good. It looks semi-professional. I'm very surprised over how well it looks. So now this is gonna go in my, uh, it's gonna go on the wall, hanging there, yes. Ready to use with the gun in it. Super nice. So the skill level of making something like this, it's a little bit higher than what you need to uh, 
do like the lamellar leather armor that I made. The thing I can say is that this didn't actually take that long time to make. It took me about, I think, eight hours in total, which is uh, like a day's work. No problem for uh, not having any uh, previous experience of making holsters before. I think that's a pretty good timing. That was the hardest part. The rest is just cutting out, sewing up, you know, putting it together, making it look nice. So I f we're gonna give uh, the lamellar leather, leather armor on a scale from 1 to 10, how hard it is to make one. I would say it's a, a 3, a 4. It's very, a very easy thing to do because you basically just gotta cut out a lot of plates that look exactly the same and then sew them together with the leather straps. So that's not very hard. So if that's a 3 or 4 on the difficulty scale of making, I would say this is like a 5, 6. You need a little bit more experience of working with leather. You need a little bit more uh, tools to make this. Uh, a little bit more hardware. But you can get that online, so that's not a big problem. Uh, and you can always build a lot of the leather tools yourself. So that's good. So this gets a 5 or 6 on difficulty scale to make. But it's still not a very hard thing to do. If you have a little bit of patience and willingness to do it, so then everything is possible. Yeah, turned out great. Excellent. Well, I think that's gonna be that for this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me make this uh, gun holster for the uh, Colt 1849 pocket model. It, well, I, I had a blast doing it. Uh, I really like working with my hands and especially with leather. It's a very nice material to work with and it's very forgiving actually. And if you can get leather for a good price, you're gonna have a great time. Well, that's gonna be that for this time. I thank you very much for uh, having the patience to watch this entire video. I hope it gives you some inspiration for uh, uh, making maybe a gun holster for yourself or you may, you know, why not just do leather work for whatever things you need. You could like, if you, let's say you are a roofer or something, you work with the hand tools and you have some certain tools that you know that you always use every day, but and you, when you need and you need them on a quick demand, you could make something like this to hold like a hammer or a couple of nails or whatever. Whatever you want to make it for, you can do that. I highly recommend. Well, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for today. I'm going to now edit this video and I'm going to have it out so you can get to see it here during the week. And then we're going to, we have some other projects we're going to do. Uh, but we'll see when we get to that. First and foremost, this is it for today. You have a great day out there, guys. And I'll see you ah, in the next one, motherfuckers. Cool.